Hey guys, welcome to wad number three of the United in Movement Challenge. Uh, remember, this is a seven day challenge. Uh, there's still time to register. You can go to unitedinmovement.org to sign up for it, it's free. Um, today's wad is a longer wad. It's going to be 20 minute AMRAP with uh, several different movements. So, we're going to use the warm up to get ready for all those different movements. Um, what we're going to do is 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of transition, one time through each of these. So for the lateral crawling, what that means is basically side to side crawling. So I'm going to get set up here with my hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, opposite arm, opposite leg is moving together, and then I'll crawl back the other way. Okay, so I'm just in that crawl position going laterally side to side. You need to make it easier just drop the knees to the ground as you're crawling versus having them elevated for the second one we're going to go ahead and get into some goblet squats so you can use your dumbbell hold like this we're going to go down knees are out kind of open up those hips a little bit more keep the chest up if you want to you can also or instead use your kettlebell and go into a kettlebell goblet squat for the 45 seconds. After that, we're gonna go alternating forward lunges. So again, we don't wanna get tight ropes, so just make sure there's some spacing between your feet. We're gonna keep the chest up, and we're gonna alternate legs. Back knee's gonna kiss the ground. My front leg is going to be in a vertical position here. After that, we're gonna go plank, push up, downward dog. If you need to modify the push-up, you can go to the knees. So you're going to set up hands underneath the shoulders. From here is my plank position. I'll go down, perform a push-up, and then push back to my downward dog. Back to plank. If I need to modify, I'll drop the knees. Push-up. Bring the knees up. Push back to my downward dog. After that, we're going to do a two-handed deadlift. So I can hold the dumbbell like this, and then just push my butt back, stand all the way up nice and tall. So from the side, my shins are vertical. I'm pushing my butt back, standing all the way up at the top. If you have a kettlebell, you can just hold with both hands. Same motion. Next is our uh, weighted alternating forward lunges. So in this case, I want you to go ahead, grab your weight. You need to hold in the front rack position for the workout. And what that means is the dumbbell has to be touching one of the shoulders. So you can hold here on the right side, you can switch to the left side. You can also put the weight behind you and hold back here. Any of those are fine options, okay? But you're just gonna hold the weight and then go into your alternating forward lunges. If you're holding the kettlebell, I would recommend holding it here, letting the uh, weight of the bell rest on your forearm, keeping that elbow nice and close to your torso, and then that wrist nice and straight. Next, we're gonna go into our hand release push-ups. For these, there's no snaking allowed, so I need to go down in a plank position and come straight up in a plank position. I'm going to get set up in my plank position. I'm going to go down, release the hands, and then push straight up. Okay. What I mean by no snaking is I can't have my chest come up and then my legs come up. So you can see there, I kind of snaked up or wormed my way up. That's not allowed. If you need to modify these, just go to the knees. Release the hands and push straight up. And then lastly, we're going to go into our single arm uh, weighted deadlifts. So for these, I'm just going to hold the dumbbell on one side, outside of my legs. I'm going to tap one head on the ground, stand up nice and tall. I want you to switch arms at the 25 second mark. 
with a kettlebell look very similar just make sure you're tapping the kettlebell on the ground each time so for the workout 20 minutes as many rounds and reps as possible for the rx you're going to start with 20 hand release push-ups followed by 30 weighted front rack squats the rx is 50 pounds for the guys 35 pounds for the ladies 40 hand release push-ups then 50 weighted alternating forward lunges same weight 60 hand release push-ups and 70 single arm weighted deadlifts again same weight as soon as you finish those deadlifts you're going to go back to the beginning and get through this as many times as possible in the 20 minutes okay so let's talk a little bit more about some of these movements for the uh, goblet squats it just has to be held in the front rack position so i showed you how to hold the dumbbell as well as the kettlebell just to go over it be like this and then i'd go into my squat after that um, we're going to go into our um, forward lunges so again, remember that dumbbell or kettlebell just has to be touching one of the shoulders. You can hold it on the back of your neck or on one shoulder. I would say maybe switch every 10 reps or so. It kind of depends on how fatigued your shoulders start to feel in terms of when you want to switch where you're holding that. If you have one arm that's stronger, maybe you hold it a little bit longer on that side than your weaker side. And then for the deadlifts, um, again, switch arms as needed. So maybe on the deadlifts you go 20 on one side and then switch 20 on the other and then finish up with 15 and 15. Um, it's totally fine to use a kettlebell instead of a dumbbell. Um, I would suggest doing that just because uh, you can see that it's taller uh, than the dumbbell. So you're not gonna have to have as much range of motion on those deadlifts if you're holding a kettlebell versus a dumbbell. There's two other divisions here. So what I'm calling the scale plus, basically you would reduce the weight or you can wear your backpack. If you're wearing your backpack, then for the squats, you're gonna have the weight on your back. And then you're just gonna go into your squats. And the same if you're doing your lunges, you'll have the backpack on your back and then alternating forward lunges. For the deadlifts, what you're gonna do is have the weight on your back, go down, and both hands are gonna to touch outside of the feet. Okay. And then for our scale division, basically you don't have to use any weight at all. For the push-ups, they can be uh, on the knees, or you can do a wall push-up. For a wall push-up, I'm just gonna set up here, lean in slightly towards the wall and then push away. Air squats, uh, unweighted forward alternating lunges. If you need to use a mat or something to protect your knees, be sure to get one of those out. And then for the deadlifts, you're gonna perform a single leg deadlift alternating. So you can actually hold on to something if you need to for balance, or you're just gonna kick one leg back, go down, try and touch the ground, and then you'll switch sides. You'll also notice in the scale that the reps uh, change. So you'll be starting at 15, instead of up here, we're starting at 20, and then increasing by 10. So again, we've got 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, of various movements. Uh, be sure to move well for those hand release push-ups. You know if you're snaking, so no rep yourself if you're doing that. Just take a break, shake it out if you need to. As always guys, please put your scores in the comment section below. You can also put them online if you've signed up for the United and Movement Challenge. Uh, I wish you guys good luck, have fun, have some good music on for the 20 minutes, and I guess uh, I know you'll crush it and uh, thanks, let me know if you have any questions.